Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to our Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke. This is episode 43, I believe, and we are preparing for the Elite Four to make sure our Pokemon do not get murderized at the very end of this epic challenge. Uh, further reminder, I do have a Patreon if you would like to support. You can check that out. Link is in the description below. Otherwise, interacting with the video is a great way to support as well, you see. Uh, can we see his little glint here, by the way? No. So they must remove the glint, huh? Uh, yeah, comment question of the day for you, by the way. What is your favorite post-game in any Pokemon game? If you don't know, typically when you beat the game, uh, there will be, like, a post-game. There will basically be, like, you know, uh, post-game features that you could do, post-game Pokemon you can catch, challenges, different things like that, which... I guess I would have to say Pokemon Silver, um, Pokemon Gold Generation 2 in general, just because the whole going back to Kanto, I always forget Kanto and Johto, but it's Kanto, right? Is the original. Um, I get them interchanged, but yeah, going back to Kanto and doing all of that stuff was always crazy to me. I mean, that's technically post-game, right? But at least uh, Mount Silver with red, right, was crazy. Ha, ah, girl, how did you know I could steal myself in this cupboard? You're sharp. You, you've come to challenge my trick house, haven't you? That's why you're here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Consider your challenge accepted. Enter through this scroll there and let your challenge commence. I shall be, I shall be waiting in the back. Okay, I think we got like six out of seven trick houses here. Oh, it's another one of these. You already did this. That's so lame. You already did this one. What the heck? Um... But yeah, I would say uh, Generation 2's post-game, if we consider going back to Kanto and, you know, fighting all of the uh, OG trainers. Uh, what do you do? Okay, you must go like this. Oh, I see. Okay. So we go like, wait, how do we... Because we need to do this, and then we need to... How does this work? Oh, I guess you go like that, and then you go like this so that you can walk out of this. Okay. Okay. But yeah, what's your favorite post game? Uh, I honestly don't know enough about a lot of the post games. Uh, I've done them. I've done a lot of them. Like I remember, you know, um, Sun and Moon. Ultra. I think I played Ultra Moon. Uh, my God, the post game. <laughs> I really, really don't like that game. It's probably my least favorite uh, Pokemon game that there is. Honestly, Ultra Moon, which may be a hot take. I don't really know. Let's fight this uh, trainer here. What up? When I heard there was a strange house, I had to check it out. Uh, but yeah, the post game that is insane. So much. There's like episode rocket or something. You deal with like all of this rocket stuff. So many cutscenes. I, I don't play Pokemon for the cutscenes. You know what I mean? So um, yeah. Ooh, a level 38 Swablu versus a level 39 uh, Altaria. Interesting. So this would be dragon against flying. Swablu is just flying, right? So I think dragon is good here, isn't it? Should be a stab. Yeah, but it really does not do a lot of damage. Surprisingly. Swablu uses mist, which uh, does what again? It's like, yeah, you cannot put stat changes on it or something. So aerial ace would be worse, right? Take down misses, unfortunate. Gonna use a potion, a full restore. Wow, oh, which also cures paralysis. Good for you, surprising move there. Okay, let's use fly. We should be able to do two moves in a row since they used an item. Safeguard. Uh, oh, how does safeguard work? I always think safeguard is like mirror move. Oh my god, okay. Foes missed or up, but we should be able to fly as well. Yeah, <laughs> what a weird battle here. Yeah, because if you if somebody uses fly or dig and you use the same move afterwards, you can basically just counter them. Okay, not too bad. About to use a Roselia, which is poison grass. So we should stick with the flying here since we're trying to level up Puff. And let's go with the Aerial Ace. Would fly be better here? I don't really know. Aerial Ace should be fine, though. Yep. Never misses as well. Ba -ba -de -ba -do. Ba -ba 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 -da. I've discovered a tough trainer. Oh, you're a Pokemon Ranger. I thought you were like a picnicker or, or whatever. I'm sure having a good time checking this place out. It's a challenge I found worth repeating. Okay, um, so I think we gotta go up this way. And then how do we set up to get to this guy? It seems like if we walk up, up and over and then go downwards, 
We should be able to do that, but then we have to be able to go up through this. So I think what we do is like this. No, even that's not gonna work, right? How does this work? Wait, yes it does. Because now we can do this, and then we can do this. Ha ha. Uh, but yeah, uh, so I do not like Ultra Moon's post content. I mean, it's a lot of stuff. It's cool that they put so much into it, but I just... So many cutscenes and story in Ultra Moon. Not my thing. I'm getting dizzy from these rotating doors. Uh, then what else you got? Uh, Sword and Shield, I have... I do not remember at all what that looked like. Uh, and then you have uh, Scarlet and Violet, which actually has some interesting stuff, right? All the weird paradoxes. I'm not even sure if I did that, though, to be honest. Because, like, I remember being interested by all the paradox Pokemon or whatever they were. But I'm not sure if I actually did it, because I don't think I caught any of those. Or maybe I didn't. I'm just completely forgetting. Okay, big old fly. Now, this thing is ingrained, which I think just restores its HP or something. Uh, yeah. I think it just restores HP after each. Wow, that is not a lot of HP at all. Wow, is that move trash? That did not restore like anything. I feel like Leech Sheet is way better, isn't it? Okay, Puff levels up to 40. Fantastic. Puff is trying to learn Dragon Dance. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. A mystical dance that ups attack and speed, but unfortunately our uh, special attack is better. So, yeah, it would be good to get Dragon Dance on a, um... Yeah, actually, this sucks for this generation, doesn't it? Because Dragon is special. Which means you're always increasing a te Wait! No! No, it doesn't even matter. Because, dra yeah, Dragon Dance will increase our attack and speed, which will then work with flying moves. Yeah, that's huge. Uh, definitely switch out Sing for this, I think. Yeah, or... Yeah. I think, yeah, Dragon Dance is just more... Uh, pr uh, more uh, practical. More um, what's the word? Pra it's more pragmatic, is what I'm trying to say. Spout goes to level 39 as well. Everything's spinning round and round. I can't take this anymore. <laughs> it's poor man, trapped in this never-ending nightmare. You don't seem to be affected at all. Do you have your poker face on? All right, so we found the scroll. Austin found a scroll. Do we even want to go for the item? Because it's going to be mail every time, right? And we don't really care about that. This is literally going to be useless, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. I kind of want to, like, 100% these zones, though. Okay, so it looks like we can literally just go like this, or not, no. Okay, so like that, and then like, huh. How does this work? ba ba da ba da ba da ba da ba 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 Uh, I mean, this wouldn't matter, because everything's, like, relegated to the right side here. So we have to be able to figure out this right here. So I think I go like that, right? And then I go like this yes yes uh what else what other post content uh, i mean for generation one it's literally just mewtwo right austin found one glitter mail it was the glitter freeze yeah just mewtwo in generation one so it doesn't really i mean that's epic obviously but you know pretty pretty singular entity maybe i could get my bird puggy about to fly over the wall uh, we talked about generation two generation three i know emerald has crazy stuff but honestly, I don't know how much I've experienced. Like, I know it's got the Battle Frontier or whatever, and that's, like, insane. Um, yeah, let's Dragon Dance. Dragon Dance is sick as hell, man. Increases attack and speed, so you can basically keep steamrolling with it as your speed increases. Okay, Stab Wing Attack. Is that just normal? Yeah, let's do another D-Dance. Yeah. Huh, yeah, if we can get Puff leveled up, I mean, Puff might be able to do some crazy stuff in the Elite Four. Okay, that should be good. So now our attack is raised, which means Aerial Ace or Fly. Let's go with Fly, because uh, that deals more damage than Aerial Ace. See how much a stab Fly does here. Wow! How the hell was it able to do two moves like that? What? That's kind of crazy. How was it able to do... Yeah, because, I mean, Fly should count as one turn still. Okay, a Pelipper. I'm going to keep out Puff just to deal some... See how much damage we can do, basically. Okay, water flying. Let's try Aerial Ace, uh, which never misses, right? But 60 power. Pretty decent, I guess. Yeah, would, would hope for more with two attack stat increases, but whatever. Um, yeah, so Generation 3. Yeah, I know Emerald has crazy stuff in post-game, uh, but I'm not too familiar with it. And I don't remember Ruby and Sapphire post-game. Zot 2. Okay, we should be fine. 
And then uh, Generation 4, I do not remember Poe's game at all. I have no idea what's in that. Generation 5, same thing, no idea. Generation 6, same thing, no idea. Uh, Oras, uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I do remember having some crazy stuff, though. So, yeah. Ooh, Future Sight. Okay, so we want to kill him before that hits us. So, yeah, I would say Generation 2 for me. Um, again, if we consider the Kanto, you know, all that sort of stuff post-game, which I think it is. I think that does fall under that, right? Why I blew it! So, yeah, pretty epic. And, it, you know, it blew my mind as a kid, basically. <laughs> I guess I lost because I was trying to cheat. What? Yeah. Uh, so, let me know in the comments section, what is your favorite post-game content in... A Pokemon game. I would love to know. Austin wrote down the secret code on the door. Trickmaster is my life. The lock clicked open. Trickmaster is my life? What the hell? Some uh, cult leader stuff right there. Yak, you've made it to me. Hey, you're sharp. It took me all night to install the doors. You're almost my equal in greatness. Fine. You have earned this reward. Obtained the magnet. The magnet. Scrub that smug smirk from your face. It's much too early to think you've won. I'll make new tricks to stop you, I will. You may mock me only when you're done. Come back for the next m m exciting installment. Uh, Magnet is just the thing that it powers up electric-type moves, right? Is that what that does? Magnet. Hold item that boosts electric-type moves. Yeah. Which I'm always confused how the uh, mechanics work, because there's, like, plates, which do a certain amount. Although, when were plates introduced? Maybe Gen 4. Yeah, and then there's, like, incense, and then there's, like, the specific items like charcoal. And I think they do change in terms of efficacy. So, yeah, I always get confused with uh, how that works. All right, this might be the last trick house here. You're being watched. Does he ever go into the mat here? Because I feel like he does, and I feel like that always has thrown me off in the past. Uh, maybe he doesn't. Okay, he's not going to be there because he was there last time. Where the heck are you? There you are. Hacker, how did you know I concealed myself behind this window? You're sharp. You, you've come to, the cha to challenge my trick house, haven't you? That's why you're here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Consider your challenge accepted. Enter through the scroll there and let your challenge commence. I should be waiting in the back. All right, there's a big hole behind the scroll. Let's go in. Ooh, what the hell? Oh, it's the uh, Tate and Liza Jim situation. Okay, let's use a uh, Hyperpodeon on Puff. Restore Puff back to full. All right, yeah, this is... I swear to God they must have remixed these for, um... They had to have remixed these for... For Emerald. I swear these are different. The Trick Master always vanishes like smoke. How does he do it? Going around the same spot, it begets ill fortune. Okay, gotta be careful here because the last Trick House, they already were similar to my level. So we gotta be really careful here because they might have, uh... Scary Pokes. Yeah, level 41, wow. Okay, let's be smart. Bennett can do some, maybe some weird stuff. Let's use, um... Should we Dragon Dance? Does it matter? You can hit Ghost with Flying, right? Yeah. Um, or should we Dragon's Breath, maybe, on the... Yeah, let's... We gotta get this Bennett killed. Kind of worried about the Bennett. We'll also do... Do Ghosts get hit by... Yeah, Ghosts get hit by ground, right? So, Earthquake is fantastic here. Yeah. It does not affect Puff. Yep, that's fine. Actually, part of my strategy. Da 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 Zoo da da Zoo da da Yeah, Kadabra, as far as I understand, is like a real big glass cannon. Deals uh, a lot of damage, special damage, but it doesn't do a lot of. Uh, doesn't have a lot of HP or defense. Could be wrong about that. I don't know exactly how that works. Okay, we've got a Soul Rock. Cool. And then what? A uh, Lunatone? Is that what it is? Yep. The classic. The combo. Okay, Puff is going to use Dragon's Breath, which is normal stab. Yeah, we'll use uh, Dragon's Breath, I think, on Soul Rock to whittle him down. And then Surf, which should be big damage here, since they are both rock. Is it going to kill, though? It does kill Soul Rock from full. That's a good sign. Does kill Lunatone as well. Fantastic. Fantastic. XP all around. XP all around. Spout grows to level 40. D -d 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 Defeated. Aye, you're much too strong. How do you do it? Defeated, it's a bad sign. Ba -ba -ba. I've circled the same spot over 10 times now. It's ill fortune. I wish I could appear and disappear as if I were smoke too. Imagine being these people and you have to like relegate yourself to being on these little switches and like, you know, you, I get... How does this work? He like signs up 
uh, he, he, you sign up for the trick house. He's like, okay, you got to stand in these spots for like eternity. Okay. All right, so I guess we should just do this, right? To clear the way for the scroll. And then a bunch of teleporter pads, one leading to an item, one leading to the scroll that we need to find. Uh, okay. I mean, I yeah, I want to fight all these trainers, so I'm not really worried about, you know, um, not really worried about uh, trying to avoid them, you know what I mean? So I think we do this. But no, she's going to see me instantly, isn't she? Is there any way to double battle th these purple guys? I guess not unless she's right next to him and it somehow does a double battle, which only really happens with, like, the twin characters, right? Because otherwise we spawn here and she sees me instantly. And then we would have to go back to the pink anyways and reset it because we wouldn't be able to get by it. So let's do that so we can clear our way to the entrance. And then, uh, yeah, let's see where these go. We just want to check everything, obviously. So this goes to another teleporter. Yeah, okay, let's fight these guys. I don't think this is going to be a double battle. I ever so closely watched you coming. Did you? Weird. Bop, 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 bop. Psychic Alvar Alvaro. That's a cool name. Okay, a little scared about this Banette, as I've said. Um, what should we do here? Dragon's Breath could paralyze, or we could just fly and try to kill it in two hits. Because Ghost does get hit by... Yeah, Curse. What does Curse do? I'm kind of worried about that move specifically. Uh-oh. Yeah, this does something bad. Uh, cut its own HP and landed a Curse. Puff is afflicted by the Curse. Yeah, it does, like, damage over time or something. Which means we're on a time... I think even if you switch out, something bad might happen. I'm kind of worried about this. But I guess we could always use Hyper Potion. Okay, Puff grows level 41. About to use a Kadabra. Do we switch out uh, Psychic? What is super effective against Psychic? Ghost? What do we have? We could just Earthquake it, right? Yeah, I think we play the safe option. Please don't tell me there's some weird thing where, like, Curse kills if you switch out or something. That would be awful. I, I f Curse just deals, like, massive damage each day. It's basically, like, a really strong poison, I think. I could be wrong on that, but I think that's what it does. Basically a really strong poison if if you keep your Pokemon like in. Which I yeah, I guess you would always switch out at that point, right? Okay. This outcome I didn't see coming. Yeah, I'm just kinda worried, like I'm hoping it doesn't still stay here for some reason. Well anyway, we both picked a weird place to get acquainted. A one weirdo as one weirdo to another. Let's do our best. Let's do that. Alright, I'm gonna use a hyper potion to heal puff. And then let's go ahead and defeat this chick. Whoever wins will get through here first. That's the feeling I get. Uh, yeah, because you basically need Pokemon to get through. And if you don't win, you have no Pokemon. Psychic Alexis sends out Curlia, pure Psychic, right? So, uh, D-Dance maybe? Is that even worth it? Or is it worth just to go for the, maybe the, I don't think Aerial Ace is going to deal enough. I think I have to, like, double fly here. Okay, Curlia used Future Sight, which even if I switch out, it'll still deal psychic damage to whoever gets hit by it, right? Curly used Calm Mind, which increases special attack and special defense. Doesn't matter, because we can aerial ace and kill. I think Puff always takes this future sight no matter what, right? I mean, I guess we could switch to something strong against psychic, but what even is strong against psychic? I don't know. This is a little scary now, especially if this thing double ups with a future sight. Puff took the future sight attack, which is like, how does that work? It's like a stab psychic attack, right? Okay, that deals nothing. Who cares? All right, um, aerial ace. Hope for a crit. Bah. Used another future sight, which is annoying because I pretty much have to fly here. So I will probably get hit by that future sight again, but no big deal. Fozatu used wish. What is wish again? Wish does a weird thing. Yeah, what is Wish? I gotta look into that. Oh, God. Oh, God. So, Nightshade deals 41 damage, no matter what, right? And then a Wish as well? Wish came true. Regained health and the Future Sight. Jesus. But that Future Sight should not be too much. Um. Okay, this is kind of an annoying fight. I don't really have a lot of damage to get out of this. Uh, we could switch to, like, what, rock type? Because this thing is bird psychic. So we could switch to, uh, rock slide or rock throw or whatever we have. 
Um, <laughs> should we just dragon dance? Yeah, I'm gonna dragon dance to like kind of out damage this thing. Attack rows, speed rows. Zato uses Nightshade, which goes off of the level, so this is always 41 damage, which is actually, yeah, not too shabby, actually. I'm going to D-Dance again, because I'm probably going to have to use another Hyper Potion. Also, Future Sight can crit, too, so that's something we got to keep in mind. Z okay, why did I not think this... That's actually scary. Um, Please don't crit. But it failed? Interesting. Future Sight can fail? What the hell? Okay. That sucks. That's like really, that's a terrible move, I feel like. Uh, it might be good. I don't know. Uh, anyways, okay, let's aerial ace. Should deal two stages more of attack here. Yeah, still not enough, though. Really annoying. This thing also used future sight, right? Mm, Bob. Okay, dragon's breath to finish it. Please die. Yeah, that thing was annoying as hell. What the heck? Okay, XP all around. Oh, well, go ahead then. Down goes the psychic. You're solving all the puzzles of the trick house. That's the feeling I get. Uh, that I am. Yeah, let's also use a hyper potion before I forget. Alright, back over here. Then, uh, yeah, let's go down to this way. We want to find where that pokeball is ideally, or the scroll works too. Austin found a scroll. Austin memorized the secret code written on the scroll. Okay, then we want to go back over here. We would like to get to these two teleporters. Uh, one of them leads to that double battle, and one of them leads to the item. Austin found one Tropic Mail. Okay, then one more double battle with these two people. <laughs> here at last, let's get right with it. It's awfully cramped in here. Doodle 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 doodle. Psychic Mar Mariella and Gentleman Everett with two pokes each. Or one poke each. Chi oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Every time I see this thing, I freak out. But I might just be freaking out for no reason. Okay. Got to be smart here. Um, Boy, oh, boy. I mean, Earthquake, right? So, once again, walk through everything here. Wobbuffet is psychic type. Cannot switch out with its tag, shadow tag, move, whatever, uh, ability. Um, but otherwise, the only problem with it is if it's able to go after you. Now, Stab Earthquake should just kill it. So I think I Stab Earthquake, but what do we do with, uh, what do we do with Puff? Do I just fly, uh, yeah, Dragon Dance to play it safe, I think, and then Stab Earthquake here. Skipper uses Earthquake, doesn't affect Puff, that's fine. Chimeco, okay, whatever. As long as it kills the Wobbuffet, I don't really care. Freaking every time I see the... Oh, that's slow. What the hell? <sighs> God, that was scary. That was scary as hell. Because, um, yeah, that slow damage... I don't know. It, when, the, when the health bar goes down that slow, it always makes you think it survived it. And then if it survived it and used specifically, I think, uh, revenge, right? It would kill Skipper, no doubt. Maybe. Yeah. May maybe? I, I, don't, I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, it's dead. All right, let's use uh, Aerial Ace, and then let's use Return on this Psychic-type Pokemon, which probably has, like, no HP, I would imagine. Probably extremely weak. Da-da! Down goes the Chimeco! Yes, sir! Dead now! Yeah, yeah! You're so casual about winning! Oh, yes, yeah, strong you are! Thank you. I like how the gentleman is, like, more pudgy than in Generation 1. I was hoping to switch places with you when I beat you, but... Oof, I'm not upset, not me. Okay, so I think that's it, pretty much, for the trick rooms. Uh, so then we go up here, right? It'd be cool if you ended this with a, like, poke battle against the trick house guy. Trick master is huggable. What a loser this guy is. What the hell? This guy's so weird. Back, you've made it to me. Hmm, you're sharp. It took me all night setting up arrows. You're my equal in greatness. Fine, you've earned this reward. Obta oh, that's actually huge. Scrub that smug smirk from your face. It's much too early to think you've won. I'll make new tricks to stump you. Stump you, I will. You may mock me only when you are done. Come back for the next exciting installment. Okay, PP Max is huge, right? 
because that means we can max out Earthquake and then just like steamroll a lot of stuff maybe. Yeah, that's big. So the only thing we'd have to watch out for is flying in the in the Elite Four because it yeah won't get hit by ground type moves. Is there any item that could make flying hit by ground type? That would be overpowered as all hell. That would be actually insane. Well, we use PP Max on Earthquake, right? I mean, is there anything else we would use this on? Bah! Raise the PP of a move to its maximum points. Yeah, I mean, pretty much Earthquake, right? Return already has a lot. Yeah, I think so. I think Earthquake. It's so good. Hits everything. Okay, and now I think we're done here, right? For the next time, I'll use this trick of the scheme and those rules. <laughs> if I may say so, it's brilliantly difficult even for me. Ha, what? Oh, it's you. I'm in the midst of devising new tricky challenges. Not too much to ask for a bit more time for me to think. Is it now? You wouldn't begrudge me that. Come back in a little while. Okay, yeah. So there's even more trick house stuff, which is very interesting. All righty then. Well, I think we got to switch out Puff because Puff's going to start to do a lot less damage, I think. Uh, so yeah, Puff 41, Spin 42, Spout, Fiend, and Marina. So we got to really level up these four and then ideally catch something in the next area that we could switch into uh, Fiend with. And then how the heck do we get to Evergrande? We kind of were there, but I guess it's going to make me get there manually again. Okay. Uh, other than that, I mean, we could try to find the stragglers. You know, we could try to find the stragglers on the water routes. But, yeah, as far as I could tell, the best uh, route forward would be to go through the final area, get to the Pokemon League, and then basically train as much as possible in that final area uh, to get ready. Which, yeah, I'm probably going to overtrain. I really want to just, you know, win this Nuzlocke, basically. You know, I could try to risk it for the biscuit, of course. Um, and just go for it. But, yeah, I just, I don't know. I have a feeling we will get obliterated. Could be wrong. I mean, the, the Elite Four could be easier than I'm thinking. But I'm betting not. I don't really know. Uh, anyways, all right, we're gonna pop a max repel and we're gonna try to get back over to Evergrande, which I don't know where the heck it is, but we should be able to just go down into the right somewhere, I'm assuming. Is this just like a dead end here? Okay, do we have to go like way south and east? Or do we have to, we didn't have to dive, right? I don't think you have to dive, if I remember correctly. Okay, Route 128 looks good. Repel's effect wore off. Let's pop another one. And we're looking for that big old waterfall, which hopefully we have taught to Marina so that we can utilize waterfall. Uh, there's other stuff we could do, too. You know, go to find all the waterfall type things. But, yeah, I mean, honestly, I just don't think there's going to be anything, like, too significant. It's a large waterfall. Would you like to use waterfall? Marina used waterfall. Oh, that's so lame. I feel like in the later gens, you go up really fast, and it's very cool. Okay, Evergrande City, which did I write that down? I did not, because we're technically in Evergrande, right? Let's check. Uh, da -da -da, Evergrande City. Yeah, so technically, we do have an encounter here. I guess we could fish on that waterfall. Ever Grand City. What should we do? I don't know. Ever Grand City, the paradise of flowers, the sea, and Pokemon. And it looks like we have a Pokemon Center over here. The long and harrowing victory road. It's like reliving the path one has traveled in life. Believe in your Pokemon and give it your very best. Austin, you've clawed your way up to face the Pokemon League. I'm happy for you. You made my cheering worthwhile. Austin, if you were to become the Pokemon League champion, I'll get in touch with you then. Okay, Austin, go for greatness. Scott there, interesting. The Pokemon League is only a short distance after the victory road. If you come this far, what choice do you have but to keep going? Oh, well, basically power level would be my choice, pretty much. All right, well, yep, we're in the true end game now. Victory road and then on to the Pokemon League, which I am scared of. But also feeling kind of confident entering Victory Road. I guess we should try to get a uh, encounter here, huh? Yeah, I guess we don't. Is it? Does it change if you surf or not? I don't really know how that works. Um, okay, so Super Rod. And then if we do get a catch here, we have to like spam Ace so many times. It's actually insane. 
That's one. That's two. That's three. A Pokemon's on the hook. What do we got? Another Whalmer. And it's also level 35. Unfortunate. Dupes claws on that one. Uh, do we really need anything else? I mean, I don't know. I, I guess a Sharpedo would be pretty neat. Yeah, we'll go one more time. We'll give we'll give a Sharpedo one more time. I don't even know if a Sharpedo can even spawn here or not. But we'll give it one more chance just to see. A Pokemon's on the hook after two bites. What do we... Oh, weird. Corsola. Okay. Odd Pokemon here. Yeah. Uh, I have to imagine this thing is not good in the slightest. In fact, I'm going to surf it. If it lives, I'll catch it. If it dies, no big deal. Yeah, no way this Pokemon is good. Or maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's just, it's got some crazy stuff for some reason. Okay, uh, Corsola. Yeah, it does turn into Cursola, which is interesting to represent, like, the destruction of the coral reefs in, like, uh, the newest gen, I think. All right, and now we've got Victory Road. The big one, Victory Road. And we will save the encounter for the next episode. Thanks so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. If you'd like to support, you can do so by checking out the Patreon. Link is in the description below. Also, uh, yeah, let me know who your... What was the question for this one? Your NPC? Was it? The, no, post-game content. Yeah. Uh, let me know your favorite post-game content in the comment section below also. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.